side here and I think that's a massive advantage for them. They've just come out fresh out of the trap with a 16-2 victory on the first map and they're looking to close things out here. They are a very strong cobble team, I'd say, especially against CLG in their current form. Train was an absolute disaster for them. Some would say a train wreck. Well, JDM forced to fall back inside of the site based on a flashbang thrown in his direction. He'll do that safely and successfully. It makes them a lot more passive in their positioning with Tarek out toward the chicken coop. Why does that word still make me laugh? I, it's because of Mo. Yep. <laughs> I could call it KFC. That makes me laugh for other reasons. Oh, okay. Come on. Hey, don't worry. I've Come done worse on. this year. <laughs> that story has been well eclipsed, my friends. Trump. <laughs> yeah, as JDM is going to get one on Dehiko, Kusta does find Tarek back in turn, though, and Liquid's finding entries, but JDM's Ooh. finding kills. And that's going to drop the bomb down, but it doesn't matter, because Nitro is going to go ahead and start this off with two kills. There it is. Liquid favoring towards Close the beast. Off with two kills, rather. Sorry. Thank you for clarifying. You're welcome. There's a lot of confusion there, I'm sure. Um, they get into the bomb site. It was CLG opening up the fragging there, but uh, Liquid fighting back. It was uh, Adren with uh, the first, and then Kusta and Nitro finding those kills. And it's going to be a bison here, Matt. The bison, the herd of bison. Remember you were calling it that yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's funny we're on the same map. It's the Pippi Bison. I think the bison's better. It's I cool. do like a herd of bison. It's very rare to see his weapon. It's uh, a herd of bison and a gaggle of meese. And that's why, because he goes dead now, of course, after purchasing that weapon. Hasn't really worked out for him. There's a little bit of damage towards Bella. Are we sure the term is a herd of bison? No, I, that's what I was going to look up because yeah. I, I, I was making the joke gaggle me since mm. it's a Canadian joke. Um, Can we get our best man on the job? Ah, out? apparently Elise actually said it. Okay. Tried Liquid Peace as in-game leader on Mirage match. Won the round after we got... What? Won the round after we got to 15. So maybe that is the difference. Kusta... Takes down Peter Hayes, takes down Kusta in turn, though, and that still gives the advantage right now to the pistols, the upgraded pistols, and armor of CLG. Interesting to note the armor as well, because it's MAC-10s out. The MP7 isn't... It's not great, but it's not the worst thing in the world against armor, but MAC-10s kind of struggle need, in this Especially on Cobble. This is a very large map, a long-range map. You need to have two AKs at least with SMGs. They went in with Bisons and uh, MAC-10s and MP7s. I, I think they're getting a little bit ahead of themselves. It's You need those rifles, just to complement them and uh, assist you in those long-range encounters. And now I'd say actually CLG, considering the situation right now, they have the advantage. It's going to be the execute CA site, 25 seconds remaining. And there it is, the first kill comes in, at least does make that MAC-10 do some serious work there. It takes down Hayes, and now the retake coming in from Balcony. All three players from the CT is going to be waiting there. And I don't think you have to face that, my friend, but he will be deciding to do that anyway, it looks Ooh, like. Nitro, I saw the HP, I was about to say. It's so easy when they line up. Yeah, it is very It easy. is a herd, by the way. It is a herd of bison. Yes. Thanks to uh, our lovely Canuck producer for that. Thank you for him looking it up. Yeah. Have you ever tried uh, bison glass vodka? It's uh, very good. Check it out. But don't drink it. If you're underage. Aim independently looked it up. It wasn't like... Oh, okay. Well then. I didn't hear a word you said because I was listening to them in my ear. It wasn't that interesting. Good, because Probably what is more interesting is that now the EKs have been brought up because the, obviously they've had to reinvest into this. They did get one more SMG on Tahiko. It's not on Takusta, who's going to be the AWP player. Rather, with him, they've left him on the Tech 9. So they are still trying to build into this game. This is a, a peculiar position for Adren to be in with the smoke already down on the archway, just waiting for Hayes to walk back out and get in his way. And that's going to happen right now. And they've now got, got a more secured round here. So important that they stay efficient here. They want to be able sh to sh be sure not to have to reinvest again. If they have to reinvest two rounds in a row, then they lose one and they're on a save. So this gives them a chance to actually reset CLG even if they lose the first gun round. Well, time to find the kill on towards Adren. They actually get two for the money here. So it's going to be... The SMG's down, still the, the three OKs prevailing here. Kusta just using that Tech 9 to finish off Tarek, and now we just have JDM left in the unwinnable situation. Picks up an MP7, taking down the end, 3 0. And we go into the first gun run here. Let's see what kind of buy. Surely we're going to see the JDM AWP. Uh, he has plenty of cash for that. Obviously, like I was the point I was making earlier in the first series of TSM and Optic, you need to make sure your, your AWP is not fully investing into the second round of four spies. So he has the AWP, and this is a map where JDM can be very influential indeed. There's going to be AWP on Kusta though, and he definitely had the drop in him on train. So let's see how this one goes down. A big round here. CLG managed to win the first gun round on train before they get it fully reset and everything fell apart. I'm looking to do the same here, but obviously a better storyline after that. 
It's going to be slow, long air play, and JDM will be waiting for them as well. Most teams will use a flashbang here. Looks like those will go straight up facing. Did JDM miss the shot there? I assume he did. He'll be firing off the nose scope momentarily. Pip just starts it off. Adren goes down, and... First gun round, first pick goes to CLG. JDM with AWP watching out toward long. Smoke off in the corner. He needs to be alive in this game. We already mentioned that at the end of the last one after the poor performance on terrain. He really needs to step up in this one. Well, it's put to open things up here. And you see the problem is with the CTs now, even though they have the man advantage, Liquid have three smokes, Molotovs, a ton of flashbangs. And this is not the case with the CTs here. They're going to have to try and work for the next kill here just to secure the round at this point. If a full execution came in, they are done for. You can see now pushing towards long A. The CTs have got a ton of info here, so they can rotate four players over towards B. That's going to be very beneficial for them, but uh, Hiko, looking at his next kill, he needs to be very careful here, but that's a decent grenade. Actually lands right on top of cover here, and it's still going to be a tricky situation, so there are two CTs there. And now, in the first phase, Hiko comes out on top, and Kusta chiming in as well. Four on three now, but 30 seconds remaining, they need to make their next move now. Here come the smokes, and here comes execution. Oh, okay. Tarek and Pitta though, a JDM now on the Belize. Now, Hiko didn't commit to drop because of this exact reason. He wanted to stay above and make sure they couldn't get in, but that's a huge turnaround of events as four kills in succession, and they just pull that right back after losing two and drop with Kajusta getting a nice pick. That all falls apart. That fell apart far too quickly as well. Well, it's pretty good three kills total. He actually got the opening kill as well, so very big round. Can be three players alive. They've got a double orb set up now as well in the CD side. I'm not a fan of the double orb on Cobble, but given this current circumstance, and they actually... Convincing these have a lot of weapons off liquid. They're not actually going to be on an eco here. So this is okay. They can build some bankroll. They actually haven't got any grenades either. So this should be a foregone conclusion. Round number five will be going in favor of CLG. They've just got some Tech 9s and TP50s. They're still. Okay, there it is. They invest some, in some late smoke. So they'll probably just be doing the water smokes towards D, trying to get the plant down. They probably saw the pickup of the AWP and the death cams there. So try and take away the vision as much as they can. I'd imagine JD1 will be smoked off at this point. But let's see what happens. Cutler, a very strong drawdown player traditionally. We'll see whether he can actually. Stay at that level throughout this one. And there we go then. The play comes in. Presumably a flash towards drop down and maybe a smoke actually. I'm not gonna be doing the wall of smokes, just trying to get control of the map. Cutler. Waiting for the pushback through drop. It's actually gonna be through connector and split toward A. They've got control of the hut right now, and they are forcing Cutler back. They get the kill from Hiko, but bombs in B, so really they're just trying to buy themselves space, confuse the rotations, force CLG to scurry away, and it's going to leave JDM awkwardly inside of the site. That's one by Elise. This is a decent call by Liquid. Yeah, they've got the AWP on Adren now as well. He's in strangers at his weapon. There are two players coming from this other platform position, so Plon comes in a boost on the tree as well. That's actually pretty clever, and uh, I think that uh, CLG are pretty much out of this round. They have no kits here, and an AWP on the retake, and Liquid is not giving anything away, apart from that one, Adren, a uh, very questionable decision from him. We need to guarantee the bomb before you start exiting, but it looks like it'll be absolutely fine here still, and the CTs will be saving. So this round was pretty much nothing invested from Liquid. They had, what, PT-50s, Tech Nines, no armor, three smokes, and they got themselves in towards that connector area. That's where things got very uncomfortable. That's when the CLG double orb setup doesn't really work out. As soon as you lose that first kill, and you've got terrorists swarming around the map and getting, coming at you from both angles, from that upper platform and connector, Finding kills in your teammates as well. That makes things very tricky indeed. That's a full reset here. A huge round for Liquid to win here. 4-1. Looking for Tarek. It looks like he'll be surviving. He's all the way in towards that sniper tower. And there it is. Only getting $1,400 into this round. I thought that was even said at the beginning of the round. That was almost impossible situation for Liquid. But they make it work. And now they have a ton of cash to work with. JDM has got the AWP. So never will these top orbs out of these situations. If they get the orb and they can go for this aggressive first pick. Looks like he'll be favoring towards middle. If he gets the first kill, the rotates are back towards B, where he's already funneled them. Definitely opportunities there to make this round happen. It's obviously low mm. percentage chance, but there's something to work with here when you have someone like him on the AWP. And he's going to try and get aggressive out toward that B platform position as well. Nitro holding him off. So there's some Tarek. Yeah. I thought it was him when, the, uh, when I saw the jump coming through. I thought it might be him trying to get the fast pick, but he's actually rotated back to the top of the middle. So it's a standard position for him. Alij Molotoving down. Try and cover off that drop strategy. And Liquid are just trying to wait this out and see what they can find. Flash over. Tarek's turn to be on this B platform. Remember, when he goes onto the terrorist side, look for him to spray into that box every single round. It's just Tarek things. 
Molotov does reach Derek. They spot him. They can't find the shot, though. Do catch him before they double face onto Cutler's position. But into the site, they have to find this. And Nitro's not looking that direction. Thankfully, Adren, still on the platform, does find it. And Nitro can advance forward to try and cut off these rotations of pistols. Yeah, this could be pretty simple now as Nitro takes down Hayes. It could be a 5 on 2. JDM with that LWP, of course, doesn't get anything for it. And it's a perfect read from Liquid, and he'll just be trying to save the orb at this stage. We'll see if they go on the hunt. I think they're pretty aware that he has to save that weapon. So he'll be once again going back towards T-Spawn, trying to get in towards the Sniper Tower. Doesn't know that the hunt is going to be on. Maybe it is. So he's going to boost up towards drop down. He can get towards T-Spawn. But it's going to be a very difficult procedure to actually try and find JDM here. So Pitta, with that USP, he was actually the hero and the only runner they've won so far. He will be looking for exits. He's sat in the vent room. Hoping someone walks into his crosshair, but not going to happen, I'm afraid. It's going to be 5 1 in favor of Liquid here, and after such a dominating performance in training, they're definitely setting the tone once again for Cobble on the T side as well. Warp saved again, but still the money just not there for the CTs. If they were to force this, JDM could drop an M4, I'd say possibly a Famous, and yeah, they'll be going in. So it's not great, it's not pretty, but it's something. Two Famouses, 5 7, Haze of the M4, a couple of kits, they have got some utility, but. At this point, in terms of the firepower, Liquid is such a massive advantage. And that's why the problem is saving the orb, it can be very tempting to invest into these rounds. Let's see whether JDM can find anything. So far, a very quiet series. So that first pick towards the other platform, and he actually gets it as well. Nitro going down finally. We're doing damage on a Tarek, though. Down to 21 on Tarek's side, so he nearly did catch one with that spray. In fact, he took JDM down to 57 as well, so... Bad effort, but did give himself away, give himself up. Pico gonna rotate back off this as well after losing Nitro. It looks like A is the intended target. They've got Pita boosted up. Remember, he played solo. We talked about that here yesterday. This time he's got a bit more with him as Hazed is there as well. But Elise, that's proper execution. And Hayes, it's only a mere one HP onto Elise. Doesn't comfort repeaking it because he knows there's more than just Elise there. He will eventually drop. Easily done by Cutler, who finds him in the open. That slows the push considerably. They've got the rotation coming in. Bomb covered off. Hayes with one HP now, though. He's going to be left alive in this. It's still two men up. They can still find this right now. They know where JDM is. The problem is solving JDM first, and then it becomes easy. And he's only on 31 HP. Oh. Nice shot that should do it. I mean, and that's, that's the information right there. Hayes is in a horrible position here as well, and that's going to be it. It's a Dren stepping up once more. He was really, really good on train in terms of those clutches, and that's another, what, 4 on 2 situation? Doing their favor, this is rotating CTs with low HP, but that was a very, very impactful frag from him, and that shot into JDM really did seal the deal. Hayes left in an unwinnable situation, top and middle, and just had nothing to work with here. There's not going to be a pause just yet, because they're going to be on an eco. Just trying to keep the money on the 2k mark. They're coming to a fourth. They lost Bennett after this round, but it will be 7 1. It's a five man stack towards B, but looks things. Just one player towards the connector area. And this time, Liquid will be heading their way towards the A bomb site. Pitta, like you said, they kept him towards that A side by himself and a lot of the gun rounds as well. And he just didn't have the aim to really fulfill that role, I would say. But let's see what he can do this time. Molotov's off to cover off every angle. Hiko finds Peter late in the bottom of the middle, trying to sneak behind them, potentially sneak behind them. Ooh, that's Obviously not to be the case. Chris from Adren. Kusta finding one before that AWP, and it's Tarek, the last alive, versus four. P250 in hand, just going to try and look for exits. Do you think we're seeing this return to form from Adren once again because it is Peacekeeper calling? Peacemaker? If, if it is Peacekeeper calling again, that's the question. We don't 100% know. Peacemaker. Right. Yeah, we did that yesterday. Um, peace guy. Uh, peace I mean, the, the, you could assume that if they were comfortable after winning that map yesterday, then, you know, maybe they do stick with it. I, I'd like some further confirmation from that. I might have to message some people in Atlanta um, and get some, get some details because maybe that's true. I mean, maybe this is more proof that Adren needs to stop calling and just focus on this game. I'm sure he has a great understanding of the game. And like, Does? Just, Does he ever watch his videos? Yeah, of course. But like, there's just some people that aren't cut out for being in-game leaders. You may have the best ideas, but if it really affects your game like that, you're just not an in-game leader. You can contribute to it. I'm sure you can give some ideas. But if you can't handle the mid-round pressure of calling and having the decisions and working out what's going to be the best way for your team to actually win rounds, then uh, I've always said 
I really don't buy into the idea that uh, being an in-game leader should limit your fragging capability. Uh, players like Fallen have already proven that shouldn't be the case, and you should be able to step up and almost have it benefit you. I yeah. feel like Carrigan as well. I don't feel like he feels like he's affected by calling. Do you know there was, there was a really, really, really good in-game leader once that top fragged just about every single game? Henry G? <clears throat> no, it was Sadokist in Call of Duty. Ah, okay. Well. Just going to let you know. Fair enough. Yeah, well. I, I just feel like it, it's just not an excuse. I don't think you say, oh, well, he doesn't get the most phrase. He's bottom of the score every time because he's the in-game leader, of course. Well, he shouldn't be leading. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't it, qualify. It, 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 doesn't mean, it just means he can't fulfill the role properly. Like, he might be able to great ideas and come up with the strats and stuff. I just don't feel like that's uh, a granted reason anymore. I feel, especially in 2016, if he's limiting a player that much, just don't put him on that role. You need to find someone who can do both or get a coach who can call for you. So it was, just, it was a 2015 thing. Like, people used to say that line all the time. And I was just I used to like kind, it's kind of, of like, like the support player excuse. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, there's no reason like where you can't be the player like in the less exciting roles and stuff like that, and still be getting good frags. Like Zipex is another example of that. I don't think you can call him a support player anymore. Like, he's just actually no, he's a beast a, now. He's just a beast. Like, he's a good anchor on bomb sites and can rotate in and find all the clutches all over the place. I think that the, the term support yeah. player is very diluted this day. It doesn't really hold much worth in terms of what it actually means. Yeah. Um, and, well, and, but, but but more to the point, it, it, I, I still think it is. A, a role that exists. There are players that are more prone to being the guy throwing the flash instead of the guy that's pushing. Yeah. I'll give you the example in Inferno. Obviously, we're not going to have that as much anymore, but the guy that stays in the site and flashes over for the guy to take banana. There's the guy that. But the way CS has works, that role. Right? You don't, like, you're not sat at the back doing nothing. Right, right, and that's the point. You still have to get frag totals. It became yeah. the same excuses in game leading. It was like, well, he doesn't get any kills because he's still taking kills. Yeah, he's still, he's still on the still, job. still do. five players alive. It's not like you're, he's going to guarantee your entry frag is not going to guarantee kills every single time. Yeah. Every situation, he's going to come in and have to have aim and understanding of how to enter bomb sites and actually reading the situations. I just don't feel like, oh, he's not getting frags because he's a support player. Like, that doesn't mean anything. It's Counter Strike. Everyone has to be killing people. It's a team game. And yes, there will be people doing set smokes, but most strategies involve all five players doing smokes. It's not just one guy doing nothing. Like, there's always going to be the, the utility usage. You, all your players should be using their utility. That yeah. doesn't make sense. That's one of the other things that, I, I, uh, that bugs me in mid-round calling, is that you have these five-man executions, and as soon as you lose one man, it's not like you sit and think, which smoke is the least important? Can we go without? They just go without it anyway. And, like, yeah. you see gaps like Mirage, you see CT stairs left open. That triggers me so much, because mm. that's the most important smoke out of all of them. So that's just a side tangent on that whole well, that's, every player has a role thing. But. Well, we, we could talk with that about that, but the game is going to be yeah. back into it now. So it is, that was a pause from COG. Obviously, they're really Tactical, up against yep. it right now. It's 7-1 against them. And uh, with this rebuy, of course, they have the AWP. They have the utility this time. And we'll see whether they can bounce back after this heavy deficit. It's going to be a five-man attack towards B, that looks at things from Liquid. Nice and fast this time. It has boosted up to the trees. Not really left towards A this time, but uh, let's see whether Liquid can find the flashbangs here. Maybe a full execution here, but that incendiary will definitely slow them down. They probably had some ticks there as well, so we'll be rotating another player over towards B. Flashes, that is going to Flashes do go in. They're already over the top. Pita on the trees. Going to try and shut down the leash. You can't find the angle. Does now get it. And he lines up two more. Pita stepping up huge. Post timeout, the coach, who likely was vocal during that time, finding some kills. And it's on to Hika. One versus four. Bomb down inside of the site just before, excuse me, just after the wall, rather. Pita going to close it as well. His best round over the last two nights. Yeah, for sure. And they keep four players alive as well, so that's uh, very good. You can see the money is still very strong for Liquid, though. And uh, so you need to be careful. They definitely didn't have the full array of grenades and throw around, and they've got the double orb set up. I'm not a big fan of it on Cobble. I think it's uh, the, 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 probably the worst map for the double orb setup, in my opinion. I don't think it works out. You've got a lot of retakes here, some lots of difficult check points in terms of connector and balcony to get through. I think single orb, sure, that obviously works. But the double orb setup for me, there's so much execute potential for the terrorists without map control required. Um, I feel like it's, it's, it's limiting yourself in terms of what you can actually do. But it's going to be tower going aggressive. Oh, there we go. Punished straight away. Nitro, so good at that platform position. His Pito, I don't think he's going to step up the same sort of levels he did in the previous round from this tree position. But let's see what he can do. He needs someone to flash him in, but he is detected. And there it is. At least he gets a kill. It is answered back by Cutler. And it's going to be up to Hayes now on the bomb side. Acoustic oh. taking him down. And the fire on top of that tree position. Acoustic, too easy. Cutler just walks in. That's a full reset. CLG. Is it from bad to worse or. Is it just the same situation because they're going to only just have a mere 
Uh, it's actually better than I would have thought. Is they got four thousand on haze, they've got forty fifty on it's color, but it's not great on everyone it's else. It's gonna buy though, is it? It's gonna be. They're gonna get mm, nineteen. No, they're gonna get fourteen. No, nineteen. Yeah. So I mean, you could argue a couple people buying pistols, and that's what they've done. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, like, it's like you'd be mad. To yeah, to four, like. four force. Yeah. yeah. So let's see what they can do with this one. It's gonna be eight two now. CLG. After winning quite a convincing round as Pitta, that's the thing. If you're winning rounds by like one player getting four frags, that's not like you've adapted and you've done really well to working with what they're doing. You've just had one player just playing lights out for one round and then you, you, they just kind of counted you completely. That double orb setup for me, like I said, I, I really don't rate it on couple at all. It's, it's something you can chuck in every now and then to kind of catch them out, but when you're strugg struggling like this, I'd say just keep to the, stick to the basics and have the rifles, the crossfires, and uh, allow yourself some for certain positions, but there we go. It's going to be a four-man stack towards the A side from CLG. Two towards Danger, two towards Long A. There's one player towards B. The problem is that's with the bombers. It's going to be this little two-man unit of the liege. So the other player is, I assume it's Nitro, maybe. It's working for the, a, uh, the B split coming in now. So it's a dread with him. So they'll be going up towards the A side, trying to scout things out. The problem is with this, they'll probably call the A side to clear. And that kills towards B as well. That's probably going to open the floodgates. This is going to actually work out for COD, you know? Could. I think it will. Well, it's the bomb. It's going to be isolated. We're not seeing it right now. That's a kill for Hayes, but Hiko still survives. And now he's got the Tech 9 still rolling, still alive. Adren turns back to catch JDM. And if Hiko had gone down, if they lost the bomb, then yeah. I might have said it would have worked. But as I, soon as he won that tool, that was enough. Just from the intel they'd gathered from losing that first bag of B and then the four range plays hidden at long A, I thought they had a real chance to kind of backstab mm -hmm. and get the rotating terrorist. But obviously Hiko stepping up that tech nine. Completely denies that it's gonna be nine two here, but Cutler saves the AWP. That's a nice little pickup from him. Yeah, they're gonna himself. be able to buy around that easily next round. Absolutely. They only get nineteen hundred, but that orb boosts their chances considerably. Just stick to one orb though, boys. You wouldn't put two? JDM and uh, Tarek? Nope, on a couple. All right then. It's. It can't, I, I, teams have flirted with it, trying to have one on A, top and middle, and then again, the other one on B. As soon as the team realizes you're doing it, though, it'll be good for one round, and then they'll just do full execution. Rush you. Yeah. Well, they, they can have rush you, or they can just do a full execution of Wall of Space from B, then how are you going to retake that? Once the bomb goes down and everyone's hitting the crossfires, it's such a difficult position. You just need one dynamic orb, someone who's moving around every single round, going for picks towards mid, upper platform, maybe a boost towards drop down, just something like that. That's all you need. The double up setup for me doesn't really work out too, too well. But uh, here we go then, round number 12. Will be four and fours, and JDM, of course, on the orb. Let's see what he decides to go. He hasn't really been rolling at all on couple still. But to be fair, no one can see how he has a Barton Pitta, he's the coach. So let's see how round number 12 goes down. Fast play from the drain. Get for those mid doors, and there's going to be two players towards on a front of the CTs here. I assume that's one of those would be JDM. That's why he has been playing with his orb the majority of the time. It actually looks like he's towards. The other side. I have no idea. I can't really read the mini map of this setup, but you know. Pitta and Hayes. Okay, so the orbs would be. Pitta though does have position still at this bales. Angle. Hazed. Beside him in the corner is gonna watch the top of danger. They think about going that way. I think it's clear now, though, and haven't gone all the way up itself. They're going to rely on Nitro to getting that information. He gets one traded out by Hayes. Now they know he's there. And that's going to allow Elyse to follow up onto him. JDM inside side the site. WP in hand. Getting ever closer to this position. Oh, spot of the gun barrel. Finds it. What? How did that not... All right, well, it makes up for it. I would have thought that hit. And Kusta's going to take him down. I'm sure he'll be perplexed by that. But it is another round for Liquid. It's going to go up to 10-2. Can, um, I not, can we uh, just oh. press tab really quickly for me? Okay, so they've had three bomb plant rounds ba based on this, but the most, most of these have come to kills. None of the defeat. Yeah, so there's only well, yeah. three bomb plants, and yet it's 10 2 for the terrorists. It still could be bomb plants if they kill all the CTs before True, it goes good off. point. Yeah, you're yeah. right. So it might, it might be more there. So it, it's, you know, it's only really a uh, quantifiable thing when it's the CT side, but um, we'll see how this goes down. 10 2. It's going to be another eco here for CLG. They're currently one map down here. It was a 16 to a foul on train, guys. So if you are just joining us, this is not getting any better for CLG. They have managed to equal their performance. Thus far. Thus far. But uh, still could be heading in a similar direction. 11 2 now. And uh, this match does guarantee who's coming to London at the end of June.
Make sure you check it out at wembley.csgoleague.com. Nailed it. You got Come it. check you it got out. It, guys. We'll be there with Bardolph and DDK, of course. We'll uh, be bringing you all the CSGO action from the UK's most iconic venue. If you haven't seen it, Matt, it's a beautiful place. It's the home of I've English heard football. Things. I've heard things about it's this. It's uh, legendary. Oh, home of soccer. Uh, yes, exactly. Oh, that's yeah. what I thought. It's a very special building. Molotov out, Peter to the corner. Tarek going to be there with him. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Tarek, well, you can put him down, though. Kusta's got the shot. JDM gets one back into a drain, but Ali's just going to take him down immediately after. That's at long A, so they've got both wings covered off. This forces an awkward rotation. Look at the positioning right now from Hayes. This is horrible for Hayes. Yeah, there's nothing that he can do there. He's in the open. <coughs> Ali has about three rocks around him, and this is going to be another round going in favor of CLG. Pizza has picked up the AWP, but I'm not feeling too hopeful about that scenario. It's going to be one player towards B, one in aggressive towards middle. That smoke comes down, and he does manage to push through and get some intel there at least. But the problem is now it's up to Pitta. With the AWP, they have smokes and flashbangs here. And let's jump on towards Pitta Cam. Let's see if we can do anything with this. I'm going to say he won't, but <coughs> maybe. I'm going to say you're very likely right. He's, can get, you'll get one frag and die. That's what I think is going to happen. Well, if he does better than that, you owe me a sandwich. Didn't do better, did he? Did worse. If anything, you owe me something. <laughs> Touche, I'll order room <laughs> service. <laughs> Nitro with the kill. It's Seiko to put the bomb down and Cutler. M4 in hand is going to be one versus four. Round 14, much like that before it, is going to go to Team Liquid. It's 12 to 2. We've been here before, we've been here before, excuse me. And I think Liquid tonight, they're just practicing getting over the hump because it's two rounds that they're, two games in a row they've had to lead. Let's see if it's two games in a row that they can close it and, like you said, get to London. And who wouldn't want to go to London, Henry? London, darling. I wouldn't want to go to London. You've been here a while. I know. So I'll see. I can't wait to spend this time in London. Actually, do some stuff, not get on the road. We'll see how this round goes down first. At least he's been really great this series, to be fair. It's JDM that goes down first. It's a five on four. It's up to Hayes. He looks like he's waiting for a flashback from his teammates before he pushes through the smoke here. Here comes the flash, and here comes the play. Doesn't spot anything, though, but he does get a little bit of an advantageous position. Could get a double spray down here. He does go around the corner, and he does see a nade come over. Will he be carried? Oh, so it's a barrel as well. Uh, um, Hayes, go. Just, yes. There it is. So he was he's actually pretty disciplined about it. He says, uh, guys, I know there's two players in front of me. Please, can you flash me again? This will be a Dren on the other side, though, getting another kill towards Pitta. Still a three on three. No advantage gained here. But he tries to pick up the weapon. Hiko just ready for him. Takes him down. Three on two. Cutler with the max seven. Tarek with a scout. This is going to be 13 2. It should uh, be, but we're not 100% sure of that yet. I, I think I am. But you seem very sure of things, Henry. Because I know things. I've well, seen some things. Yeah, have you? Have you seen? I'm, I'm not surprised, actually. I've seen you at after parties. <laughs> is Tarek going to get up on top of the balcony with the scout? Does give away his position. He'll fall back inside of the site. That's going to call for the rotation as well right now from Cutler, but Cutler with a shotgun is going to be playing such a long angle. And this is looking Good luck, considerably Tarek. better as Tarek does get a tag on the Hiko though. Oh God! <laughs> oh, that is so brutal. Save. It's another one. Doesn't matter. Elise and Adren close it out 13 to two at the end of the first half. Same score. Once again for Team Liquid, if they win this pistol, we could have the same situation on our hands. Um, yeah. Uh, it's just, you can see the CLG are struggling without the fifth player here. Um, when are they going to announce the fifth? They, I don't think they have one. I uh, know, that's my point. When are they going to get one? If you had to say right now, who would it be? You Swe have... Swedish or Danish? Oh, you think they'll actually be a European coming over? I have, I have that feeling. That I have be, a feeling that's probably the first of these guys, so right, in terms of the core lineup. I don't think they've had a European above and Pitta involved. It's always been five Americans yep. or Canadians. Yep. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe they could get... Who's your favorite British player? <sighs> Henry G. Yeah, I'm, I am available after my glorious comeback at the 1v1 tournament. Although I did lose to Moses and Semler, so... Yeah, I, I know, know, that was on my... Just, my, my yeah, time. and I kept up with you and Frags on one map, so you should probably... On one map, I, you, no one beat me at all, though. I think I top Frags in the entire game by some distance. I think Yanko did. Nope. I got 35... I got 36 kills in the final map. So, right. <laughs> did you see how the aces I got that revolver map? Alright, just calm down. <laughs> it's not a big deal. It did up well. If you'd have done that, I think it would have been a big deal. Obviously, if I get one kill, it's a big deal. You're a big deal. Elysian and Nitro. But you're not big enough to be able to be better on Twitter. That's well enough. No, neither are you, apparently. This beat gets taken down by Elysian. 
Decent start to the pistol round once more for Liquid as their one man up. But one man isn't often enough in this pistol situation because they can hoard on to you. They can rush so quickly. Kusta's going to make it better. Goes for the reload, though. That allows the Tarek Duelies to get a shot. Where's the peak right now? This is p interesting. There it is, finally. And doesn't w he go? What? He sat there forever, didn't peek him when he went toward the doors, and then misses that duel. That's going to be a bomb down. This could be CLG taking the round on that alone. Uh, yeah, I think you may be right here. They're going to be doing a boost of the balcony. That's going to be a guarantee to kill here. Okay, no, Adren finds it. Continuing his strong form throughout this series, he has been very good. We speculated he may not be calling anymore. But as headshot on towards Tarek, that might actually help things out for Liquid. He does find a kill, though, somehow. Two versus one now. Hayes to hold on to Cobble here. Can he do anything with this bomb ticking away? They have no kits, so they need to act very fast indeed. Two low HP players for the CTs, but they get the kill. Bomb ticking away, I don't think they can get this. Oh, I, I can't hear him, Matt. What's, this, what's the bomb tick like? They got it? It's close. I think he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. Sure? Yep. Oh, yeah. That is you weren't as you sure. Like. I was pretty close. Point zero yeah, you weren't seconds sure. remaining. I said he's got it. I was right. <laughs> you were saying, yeah, he's, got it. Oh, he's got it. He's easy. got it. I, he did have it easy. 0.1 seconds. Yeah, yeah, that's easy. <laughs> got easy. It. Got it. Yeah, I have a cashew. Okay, I will. I'm going to mute your mic when you eat it, though. Because I don't, I don't want to be rude. That is impressive. 0.1 seconds and CLG inside a spawn trying to decide how and how they want to go about this situation. They do have one AK bought up. Hiko, auto shoddy. I want, oh, Nuke is back. I was about to say, I want Nuke back. Nuke's back. Have you ever seen Nico or uh, Hiko? Yes. Hiko? Seen Hiko play with the pump shoddy on top of the hut? Yep. Oh. It's insanity. <laughs> well, yeah, it's good. Sure. It's P90X. Here we go. It's not that insane. Oh, okay. There it is. Well, let's get one. He's going back for more against Tarek. There's two. <laughs> Hiko loves that gun, and Pita loves the Tech 9. But what he doesn't love is losing games in a dramatic fashion, and that's how things are continuing to transpire right now. However, if you look at the fact that there is a Dren on low HP, there's still a chance in this, and Hayes pulls back one. He's got the AK up now. They've also taken back that shotgun from Hiko. This AK, it's going to take down a liege. And they have to control that ball. Nitro, he's going to face onto this. Nade goes in, and they've got this. CLG just pull it back in the end. Um, it's going to be... A long uphill struggle here, and we'll see whether they can hold on. They have got tons of cash. This is the start of it. This is the start of it, I think. This is the comeback. 16 14, liquid. Are oh, they going to do it? You can imagine Peacemaker's like, guys, no, don't worry. It's not going to happen again. They're probably getting PTSD right now. It's like, oh, is it happening? Are we going to get, are we going to choke? Peacemaker, are we going to choke? No, it's fine. Let's take a full eco. Stop buying all the shotguns. Let's calm down. It's all going to be good. But through this game, I would, I would choke on the cash enough as well. Fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Are they trying? Are they trying the VP lineup? This yeah? is the VP lineup. What we need a name for this? Uh, the VP lineup. The VP snake. They're doing it with four. Oh, there's a misalignment. Hiko's going to show first, and that throws it all the wayside. But Nitro does hit the shot in the end. They did try it. They were successful in getting one kill, but Hiko a little bit over extension, blinded up as a liege. Easy pickings for Tarek, who goes for a reload inside of the site. That's a lovely decision. Great decision. As it is Pita now inside a drop. Getting ever closer, though. Nitro has this AK now picked up. 55 seconds. There's no sense rushing this. And they have got the bomb slowly going back over toward the A site. Pita needs to be very careful here. He's giving his position away as well. But that smoke should help. help. What is that? <laughs> you're gonna use the smoke or not? That? Like, are you facing or are you picking up a pick or using it to get out? Like, either way, that was gonna go wrong because if he died, he, if he survived, he can't get out. He's locked himself in there. Anyway, bomb will be planted. Still a winnable situation oh, for oh. sure. And Nitro has got through the great day. Oh, kill JDM with two kills of the P90. Headshots, of course. And it's gonna be a Dren. He has had some pretty insane clutches tonight. No kit, one flashbang, AK in hand. Needs to find JDM and Cutler here. I feel like he can do this. Eh, yeah, there's a good chance. Tarek's Turkish delight. Let's try and pull this off. He's not even going. He doesn't have a kit. He's just looking for the exits to try and make this more winnable down the road. It's going to stay on 14 for Liquid. Four now for CLG. Indeed. They double their total. They can take another partial by here. Liquid just finishes out properly. They force this one. It opens up the window. And we could be here a long time. They don't, they don't, want, to, they don't want to choke, right? Let's not choke. Let's take a partial by. Let's make sure we finish this in style. 
And I think that's what Peacemaker's here for now. He's to be like, guys, don't think about winning this 16-4. Let's just win the game, shall we? Don't force buy. Don't anything silly. You're good guys with pistols. Let's get some kills. Find some cash. And we'll go in. I think this is going to very soon, I promise. I'd be a great coach, that's what I should do. Uh, you're definitely not a life coach, but maybe a CS coach. Maybe a CS coach. Just need to pay me $15,000 every week and I'll be up for it. Please send me your emails. There you go. Anyone in chat who's ever wanted to know anything about Counter-Strike, it's a bargain. That's a pretty good price. There we go. It's an absolute steal. It's a barn burner, <laughs> as you would say. Hiko. Gonna get taken down by JDM's AWP in the end, although the AKs did the early damage from the fact that of the hazed. I don't even know what that, that's a sentence in English, but Tarek's gonna find a liege. It's Nitro now, one versus five. He's on 44, took that nade damage at the very start of the round. And it will be another for CLG. And somewhere, somehow, in chat, on Twitch, there is a bunch of fans that do believe CLG can make this comeback. Well, that was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> well, did you? Oh, did you see the the awkward high five between? Uh, no, but those Kiko are all the time. That, That's amazing. <laughs> this is the best one ever. Really? From today? Yeah. It was best one ever from today. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> it was like fist bump, high five, combo went wrong well four or five times in a row. Nice. So check that out. It's on Reddit right now. I gotta look that one up. I'll look that up in my terrible hotel Wi-Fi. Yeah. Well, then it's going to be one of the times you hit 14-5. CLG desperately holding on for dear life here. They are looking down the barrel of series points here and going down to the lower bracket. But it's going to be a partial by helping out Liquid here. So that's kill below for Tarek, but quickly on some back by Adren. While making his way back towards the A side. So Koos is waiting there. Lands a shot towards Pitta as well. So that buys him some time. He rotates back towards the site here. Repositioning himself and looking for the kill on towards JDM. That should nail the round now. As he was giving it. Okay, Kuste didn't need to face that, but still a man advantage for Liquid. Let's see if they can convert it as well, though. It's man advantage. Molotov already out of the balcony. Hayes going to clear off all off angles. Go for the obviously safe plant in behind the large gardening hut. I like this little boost they've got going on. Yeah, it's clever. It covers off both choke points. It is going to give them the jump, but it's going to give away information. The smoke out in front of. The small hut as well from a Duran is going to open this up. What's the plan here from Liquid? Uh, wasting valuable time. We're going to be ascending onto the side together here. point. The boost is going to oh. be disrupted. And he's up to Cutler now. Gets the first kill. Can't land the second. So the bomb will be diffused at this point. That point. Yep. Series, Series point. point. Qualification London point. point. London. London calling. Yes. London calling indeed. Boy, what in London? <laughs> 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 Sorry, I like that song. Yeah. That's me. I'm the werewolf in London. Hungry for blood. Oh, I won't explore that any further, actually. No. Anyway, I'll um, just leave that one there. 15-5 <laughs> and Eco back at it again with the auto shotgun. Doesn't want to win this game, apparently. Wants to... Humiliate. Go. Yeah. Well, he's going to take that auto shotgun this time to a very different position than its first location at Danger. It's over toward that B platform instead. And they're going to boost up a Liege. He's got the M4. Slow play from CLG. There was a little bit of aggression with the smokes going out and some nades. The like, a bit of spray from Tarek, not surprisingly, out toward Long. But now they'll slow it down and start to patrol elsewhere on the map. But the bomb dropped inside of the B tunnels. Is Pitta and Hayes together, but the first pick goes to Liquid. This is crucial. As Elise is able to pick down one. Cutler, though, look at this. Down drop already. This is a kill. Easy kill. Adren down already. Doesn't even go for trigger discipline. Just wants to win the duel. Shotgun from a distance, and Hiko pulls it off, but he's gone low. One HP, and they have pulled this back slightly because they got a kill into Adren as well. So Kusta needs to come up large still on this A site, and Hayes is going to find Hiko. Oh, surely. Or is he just going to go back? This is He'll find Kusta then. Yeah, but Kusta surely dead. There it is. And uh, there it is. Three versus two. Hiko has the AK-47. is up to a lead now. So he can actually make this a possibility. The bomb will be planted surely around going for CLG. And I've got an interesting tweet here, Matt, after this round's over. You have a tweet? People yeah, tweet you? it's from Fugly. Okay. Not to us, but it's a tweet just made. So he just said on Twitter, just so everyone knows, I did not leave CLG. I was kicked. And I have no idea why they're using 
Pizza or a Ringer right now, but it seems like that's what they'd rather do. So he's still under contract yep. for CLG. Yep. Um, but uh, he, did, he has announced he is joining a new team next week. Good to hear. Good to hear. And indeed. there has been speculation on Reddit as to who that is. I don't. Has know. there? Yes. On the front page right now, it's saying that he might be joining Reddit. It's a leaked screenshot. Uh, joining NRG on Reddit. If possible. Yeah. It's definitely possible. They need to pick up two. There's one that's very heavily rumored but that's, as well. That's a massive rumor. That's just a screenshot on Reddit. Yeah. That's like normally yeah, spilling yeah. the beans. That's just yeah. something that's front page right now. Of course. Well, it is still that point for Liquid as they are forced on the reset here again. They did save an AK and an AWP in the hands of a Liege. Yeah, I think CLG starts to look outside the territory. I think there's there's uh, two players that I've heard, but I don't know. I, I don't want to. That leave. would that would be speculative. Uh, uh, yeah, and I don't want to give misinformation. But there's yeah. I've heard. Well, there's three I guess that I've heard, but two that seem to be recurrent. Hold on. And I and I don't know enough about it to say and spread rumors. So we'll have to wait and see. Did it, did they say weapons here? Hiko and Elish. I was discussing tweets. I guess they must have done. They did, yes, sorry. Nico and Elise both managed Why to save these weapons. The old? Because Elise wants it, and his StarCraft reflexes are ungodly. See? Look how fast they are. Too fast. He was he shot before the player was even in his crosshair. That's true. Well, Cutler's made it down drop once more. Nitro inside of the site. Little shoulder beat. Didn't spot Cutler there, nor in turn was he spotted, so... Give him a chance. Now he definitely is. Elise, AWP, can't land the shot. It's going to take at least one into a trend, but Nitro follows it up. Cutler barges into the site. He just blasts right through Nitro up close, and Eric will take Elise immediately after. Kusta already falling away with the AWP that they've now grabbed again. And he go with an AK. So 15-7 now. That would be saving his weapons, surely. Yeah, they'd be exiting out. So they saved weapons. Not going to be not too much here, but... I uh, completely can we just have a normal round of M4s and no auto shotguns, liquid. That'd be that'd be ideal. Let's not have any overtime business here. I mean, you'd hate to see it happen considering what's happened in the last what two or three days at E League has been horrible for them. So many uh I guess the, the buzzword right now is choked. Certainly is. I don't think uh, Astralis are gonna be happy because someone finally took that title away from them. Well, at least they were joking in semi-finals and stuff. But I guess like Liquid did the same thing at the major in terms of uh, that was the definitely a semi-final. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair enough. But I guess uh, Astralis always famously done it in very deep in tournaments. This is uh, a lot of online stuff recently from Liquid and uh, the early stages of E League as well. So we'll see what happens there. And obviously at uh, Pro League finals as well, they had a lot of NIP. Hello, 13-2. chicken was stuck in the stairwell. That was one of the worst ones I've seen. That one was really bad. 13-2 on Dust 2. Yeah, and then... that one was really, really bad. But that was arguably worse than the... I, I mean, context. I would say the Major is obviously worse, but the scoreline itself. Good pick, Kusta. Good boost to try and change things up. Higo gets one, but he's traded out. This opens up a bit of opportunity to try and go to A-Long. And look at the rotation this has caused. Yeah. Three players... Back off of the B site now. It may end up being the right call, given that the bomb is now going in that direction. Kusta again going to find JDM. Hayes spotted, but he's trying to dance in the flames. Can't land the shot onto him, but it's four on the two. And Liquid might finally have a chance at doing this smoke out. That's going to give vision away from Kusta. They're going to push through it, but he catches Hayes doing so. Surely this is it. Tarek, a shot toward Kusta is going to give away his position at the top of mid. Elise pushes through, and it's all done. Just like that, Liquid have made it to London. London, baby. They will be joining us here at the end of June. It will be CLG Tally going up to the lower bracket where they will face.